here today at the Hiawatha Lodge with the Hiawatha Live Steamers, and I'm sitting here with Sandy Whittem, who has just purchased the brand new uh, first original Cagney built in maybe over a hundred years, yeah. uh, certainly at least first one in more than 60 years. And Sandy's been very gracious to have us up here today. We've been running the trains. He's been showing us around the property. And it's a fantastic place. We're in the Adirondack Mountains of New York State. Sandy, what? tell us a little bit of the history about Hiawatha Lodge and how your family came to own it. Well, my grandfather p purchased the land in 1900. And uh, people contacted him and built a hotel on the property and cottages. And uh, that lasted th through 1917. And his w wife and he and their two children spent their s summers here. And after the hotel burned and it was no longer profitable to be in that business, it became their summer home. And my first recollections were the second year I was b born and every year since I've been here. So when the time came 43 years ago that I wanted to build a little railroad, there was no better place to do it. And except the grades are prohibitive and it was hard work and we didn't have the right equipment which we do today but uh, it was done mainly with a wheelbarrow and shovel and lots of patience now basically the layout of the track is two reversing loops connected together right that was not the original but that's what we finally got to <clears throat> because for years it was just a track that went up the hill and there was no way to turn the train around. And then finally we built that, but the grades were bad and there was no turnaround at the bottom. And of course we had no power either. So it was mainly a coasting railroad. People for 25 or 30 years would stop and we'd get in our cars, which fortunately had brakes, and come roaring down the hill. And now we have a diesel, a steamer, and now a second steamer. So, And we finally got the reverse loop at the bottom, courtesy of my son and tractors and friends. I can't do the work much anymore. But uh, Very good. What is the ruling grade on the railroad here? Uh, we have a grade that we come down, which is almost 4%. The grades we go up, we kept it to 2%. So, and the Cagney works hard, but it uh, amazed us. It sounds good, and climbed them. When we get your cars, we'll see how many folks we can pull up that grade. It has great heart. <laughs> now, as you mentioned, the Cagney is not the first steam engine you've acquired. You've acquired this beautiful Hudson was the first steam engine. Tell yeah. us a little bit about the history behind that and how you came oh. to possess that. Oh, I can't think of all the names, but uh, the engine eventually it was started by Seymour Johnson, Bill Harper, and many other men. Uh, Reynolds worked on it, I think owned it through into the 60s or 70s put it up for sale, and before he sold it, he died. I think uh, Bill Norad bought it at auction and had great plans, and he ran it with Seymour Johnson's Hudson up in California, and he died rather unexpectedly in his 50s, and eventually his wife put the engine and cars up for sale and after two years of not really expecting to ever buy it uh, I had enough cash finally to buy it because the other guys who appeared to be millionaires were trying to buy it on speculation and so here it is. <laughs> Very good. 
And so then we fast forward and we get to the point where you decide that you want a Cagney. Tell us a little bit about how you how you met us and how what it was that inspired you to buy the Cagney. Of course, I've known about Cagneys all my life. I mean, they were I had a chance a number of times to ride behind the original ones and I knew that they were coal fired originally where the Hudson is oil, which is a cantankerous thing, trying to get the blower and everything correct. And, uh, so the Cagney would, was something that uh, appealed to me. And uh, so far, the two days that we've had it here, I'm very glad I chose coal, because it, it, it's a good way, it's easy. Once it's going, you can't hardly stop it. And uh, I'm very pleased with that. But uh, I saw your ad a few years ago for for the Cagney, and I thought, well, this is this is coming at the right time, and uh, I'm very happy we did it. Okay. Sandy, tell us uh, it's named Hiawatha. Where, where's the name Hiawatha come from? I don't think we know. <clears throat> there was a, a, a hotel or something on the property before we even knew it existed up through 1895 it was called Hiawatha House and uh, so apparently that name was known in the Adirondacks so when they built a hotel it made sense to call it Hiawatha Lodge and they've we've kept the name you know ever since and uh, not as many people think of it in terms of that, but up until I was grown, that was the name everybody associated with the property. So it made sense that this would be Hiawatha Live Steamers. And uh, although I don't know if I thought of that today, I took the first sh shovel of dirt. The rail for the railroad came from an amusement park in, in, in the Rochester area. And that was a wonderful find because they sold it as scrap. And the rail was good, so it was a wonderful buy. It would, I'd be uh, rich today if I could uh, sell it for what they charge for rail. Was the gauge of the railroad always going to be 15 inch? <laughs> Uh, I was a purist, so of course I built the track to the exact quarter size, which is 14 and an eighth. And I've managed to meet a few other men that did this, but generally the equipment that was available was always 15 inch gauge. And uh, so the Hudson, of course, was 15 and that meant I couldn't regauge the engine like I thought. The way it was designed and built, that was impossible. So it took about six or seven years to regauge the track, change the grades to be more compatible. And uh, well, we're finally done and we've got some equipment that runs on it well. And uh, we look forward to the Cagney. Very good. Well, it's very beautiful here. Yeah. You have quite a wonderful property and a wonderful thing going. We hope that you're able to enjoy it for as, uh, as long as you can. Uh, and certainly your family will enjoy it for as long as they can. I think my son will be around for a long time, and he seems to be getting the bug completely. Good. <laughs> Good. We hope so. And thank you for inviting us up uh, and, and allowing us to it. deliver the Cagney for you. We hope you enjoy it for many years. Thanks for all the help. And we're happy to, and maybe we can come back again. I know John's going to plan on yep, being yep. back. I hope so. Maybe I'd, later this summer. I'd love to meet him, have him here. Okay, very good. All right. Thank you, Sandy. Thanks.